well, um, there's still a tremendous amount of pressure to try to suffocate Ron Paul. The media doesn't want to admit that, in fact, Ron Paul in a head-to-head -head against Obama uh, beats Obama in many cases uh, above his other uh, uh, allies. And this will get bloodier when the main election comes because Obama has no record to defend himself on when it comes to an anti-war message or a uh, constitutional message of civil liberties. It's disgusting what Obama as a constitutional uh, lawyer and professor uh, a, or an editor could uh, be associated with horrendous acts of extension and deepening of the Patriot Act, as in the National Defense Authorizations Act, which is also the height of mendacity because he claimed he was concerned about the powers in his signing statements. But Levin went on the floor and said the White House demanded that they put in those statutes about U.S. citizen detainee uh, where you lose all your rights, where we're under martial law forever. Uh, and it's really pathetic and disgusting and disturbing that people don't see this. So you have no choice but to vote for Ron Paul if you have one ounce of patriotism left in you. I hate to get so passionate about it, but really it's just disgusting and appalling that people would sell off what their forefathers had blood and sweated and struggled and suffered to preserve was just thrown away carelessly after one small act of terrorism relative to the size of our country. Um, you know, we've lost 60,000 on Vietnam and half a million with brain injuries, you know. Uh, worst things have happened in the United States in 9-11. Um, uh, so forgive me for saying so. I don't mean to uh, uh, step on anybody's uh, feelings. But we have to speak honestly to get ourselves out of this mess. And uh, so don't disregard the fact that Ron Paul can run a third party candidacy effectively. He could go in with a guy like Nader, uh, and they could make some very interesting waves. Thank you. Good night and good luck.